inspiration board. And you're probably wondering, crazy old lady, why are you saying inspiration board? It's supposed to be vision board. Well, mine's is an inspiration board. So why do I say inspiration board? Because what I need in my life at this time, beginning 2021, is inspiration, okay? The walls are starting to close in. I'm, I'm, I need something to inspire me every day. So I created an inspiration board instead of a vision board. You do what you want. A vision board is great. My vision, um, I don't have a vision board. I write down my visions d during my prayer time. So I wanted to show it to you today. So I just showed you a little clip of how it looks. It's in my bathroom and so I can see it every day. Um, and I got beautiful butterflies coming out of my inspiration board because you know I'm obsessed with butterflies. Everything about transforming who you are, if you want to better yourself, if you want to, everything from losing weight to making your skin better to learning a language another language to learning anything anything to elevate yourself that's what a butterfly does to me they start out one way and then they become another so join my butterfly family okay you ready let's go but anyway, so I thought I'd start doing more talking to you one-on-one -on -one videos as well as my fashion videos because as you see, look there on the bed, I'm going to do some, um, some photos for Instagram. But let's talk about my inspiration board and why I chose inspiration board. You know, I need my glasses to read stuff, man. Don't, don't play. Okay, so I chose inspiration because guys, I need the inspiration every day. I need a pep talk or something, something to inspire, inspire me. And I'm, I'm sure you need that as well. So what I did was, let me go over the board first. So I got this, I didn't want anything fancy, big, huge. I'm all, I, my place is already small. So, um, speaking of that, stay tuned because I'm going to do a small bathroom tour, how I organize, and a small bedroom tour, how I organize my bedroom. It's very tiny. Okay. Um, so, anyway, what I have here, let's start from the bottom. So, I have a coin, and this coin right here is a, this is a dollar, a dollar piece. And I haven't seen one in a long time. And someone gave it to me um, at a register. I don't know what store, but anyway. And I was like, wow, I remember when I used to try to collect dollar pieces. Um, Cause I used to be a candy lady. So I used to like collect a lot of coins and I love having dollar pieces. And that dollar piece just reminds me of when I was younger and just another time in my life. So to me, that's representing money. And I bought this board and I put all my little butterflies around it. And I had this headpiece that I never wear. So I glued that up there too, because it reminds of sunflowers. So this, I like the look of it. So I had to have it looking pretty some kind of way, <laughs> blinged out and pretty. So I'm gonna go over the cards that I use. So I also got the cards from Amazon. They are card the Magnificent 101 Visualization Kit and I'm gonna link it down below. So it looks like this. And on each one, it has several things. So 
you are joining me while I am changing my board. So depending on how I feel every week, I want to change my board to look and inspire me for that week coming up. So when you're seeing this, it's on a Saturday. So I'm getting my board ready for Monday. So let me tell you what was on my board and then we can go over the cards that come with it. So first it comes with a lot of little cards. So this little card just has words on it to inspire you. So this one says appreciate. So this appreciate um, little card goes with this card. And this card reminds me of tranquility and just relaxation and it just it reminds me of vacation and beaches and it just looks good and it reminds me and it tells me to appreciate what i do have so let me read the card so on the back of the card <coughs> excuse me on the back of the card it has quotes for you so you can either have the quote side up or you can have the picture side. I like the picture side because I'm, I know what the quote says. So let me read the quote to you. Look around you, appreciate what you have. Nothing will be the same in a year. What does that remind you of? Everything changes, even 2020. I refuse to say 2021 is gonna be exactly like 2020. I refuse. Do you understand me? So I had this card this week and I had the word appreciate over top of it. And on the bottom of it, I have this saying. And this one says, step by step and rep by rep, I create my own ideal body. So this is to help me in my, I'm not gonna, I no longer say weight loss journey. Do you understand me? I am, I'll be 57 this month. I am no longer saying weight loss journey. I just try to eat healthy, keep my high blood pressure down and look as good as I can look. And I do that by exercising. I have to exercise or I gain weight. I, it, it's just, I have that. I wish I had known it. I wish I had known it 30 years ago that all I had to do was do 30 minutes to an hour of exercise every day or five days a week. And I would have maintained my body. But of course I didn't care about it. So I figured I'd be small all my life and that, it just don't work like that. So step by step, I can only go step by step. So my next card, it says my, fan, my finances improve beyond my dreams. So that is my card when it concerns my finances. Now, we all, everybody can say, oh, I want money, I wanna be rich. Okay, we can all say that. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it in God's hands and I'm gonna say that I would like for my finances to improve. I want financial freedom, which means I don't owe anybody. I'm not in credit card debt. I don't owe anybody any money. I, I, don't live paycheck to paycheck and I can live comfortably. I, that is my realistic goal, you know, but do I want to win the lottery? Yeah. yeah. What the world? So my next card says mind, body, and spirit. And you know, my channel is all about mind, body, and soul because you cannot, you, you cannot, do you understand me? You cannot do what you need for yourself without making sure your mind, your, your soul, and your body is all in aligned. For instance, I can't say I want to lose 20 pounds, but I don't put no work into it with doing exercise with my body and making sure what I put in my body, which is the food that I eat. So and that is a part of your soul. Your soul is the part that says, I am going to do it. I will do it. I'm doing this for me. I'm not doing it for anybody else. I want to work on the inside as well as the outside. So mind, body, and soul, that is all, that is what my channel is about. 
This next card says, don't let the internet rush you. No one is posting their failures. Do you understand me? If you go by that uh, somebody is, okay, this light is driving me crazy. I just, I can't deal with it. The light behind, I mean, we supposed to have all this stuff going on. It just, that light is driving me crazy. But anyway, so we, we can't let the internet and what we see um, especially when you see someone <clears throat> and everything in their life is going good. Everything. That's why um, my last video was me putting on, you know, my makeup and showing you how I look um, and how I enhance myself through makeup, but very little because I don't do a lot. But I want you to see the real me. And now that I'm gonna start doing my videos more one-on-one -on -one about my life, about, you know, bringing you into my home and stuff like that, you're gonna see the real deal. I'm not gonna hide anything from you. But if you see someone that's perfect every day and you think that their life is really like that, then you need to get this card because it's not. Uh, being healthy is wealth. You have to have had a time when things in your life, you was either sick or um, something happened that it hindered you from doing anything you wanted to do. You could have broke your leg. You could have broke your, if you break a thumb, oh my God, I didn't know that breaking a thumb is so vital to using your hands. But anyway, health is wealth. Okay, so my next card says peace. Child, I don't want no more. Do you understand me? I don't want no drama, okay? I don't want no drama in my life. I don't want no stress of, of I no longer want to sit and worry about everybody. I don't want to, not saying I don't care, I do care. I'm saying I cannot control anyone else. So having to worry about someone that just want to do what they want to do or having to worry about someone and you can't, you have no control and you have nothing you can do for them if they won't allow help or, or it's something that you just cannot help them with. I want peace. I don't want to, <clears throat> that's why I don't want to go around on, on the world anymore like it was when I was younger, trying to have everything when it's not your time to have it. So you try to go out there and get it by on the whole entire world. I don't want that. So I love me. You know how many people don't love themselves? If you do not love yourself, how do you expect anybody else to love you? If you don't love yourself, how do you know how to love anybody else? So learning to love yourself. I'm learning that I am beautiful, that I love me, that I am a good person, that I deserve better, that I, yes, I'm putting the I first. You got to start thinking like you're blessed, talking like you're blessed and acting like you're blessed. That's how your blessings get activated. You want to get blessed, but you don't want to act. You don't want to put the effort into it. You walk like you are. Manifest that into existence. See. Keep calm. I love you. Or these are things that you can have for other people. So if you have a significant other and you want to make sure that you still because when you have someone else in your life, sometimes you do tend to forget to make sure that you tell them that you love them and how important they are. So this will remind you. So it's cards like that. This one says, I am worthy of making more money. I move from, from poverty thinking to abundance thinking. So I stop thinking broke. I think that's the one I'm about to use. So I think the one I'm about to use is I, I'm going to stop thinking broke. Maybe if I stop thinking broke, I won't be broke. Because to tell you the truth, really, truly, 
there's always someone worse off than you. You think it isn't, but it is. And sometimes God shows you that. He show you and you be like, wow, I didn't know that. And you wonder why you knew, you got into that situation where you found out somebody else was worse off than you. It's because God was trying to show you. He was trying to show you that it can be worse. So I'm going to use this card on my board card. I'm going to use this one. And this has money because child, I've been spending, so I got to re up. I got to stop, but I'm so bored. That's one of my problems. When I'm bored, I'm either gonna eat, and I don't mean eat like food. I'm a big snacker. I'm a snack or I'm gonna spend some money. So now I've learned to put stuff in the cart and just love that cart and then just get out. No, that's what I had to do. So the card says, be open to money coming to you in new ways that you have never even imagined. So like I said, I'm going to just open it up for the universe and I'm going to let the money come to me however it wants to come to me. Through my job, through um, whatever means, as long as it's not nothing negative. Like, you know, I don't want to speak even speak on existence about that. So I'm going to let it come to me however it's going to come. How about that? Okay, so my next card I think I want to do is give back. Because I want to make sure that I am always not only um, trying to give for my get for myself, but I want to make sure that I give back and I want to make sure that I'm a giving person and not just a, a taking person. I'm going to do give back as my next one that I'm going to put on my board. And this is going to remind me to make sure that I give back. So what card do I want with that one? So I picked the give back. So now I have this card and this card is contributing to others. And you can write down what you did to contribute so that you can keep a record of it and keep yourself accountable. And on the back, the saying says, contributing, uh, contributing, whether with time, money, or simply by caring, sends a very powerful signal that you have more than enough of something. When you tune into the vibrational energy of abundance, remarkable things start to happen. So I'm gonna use this card because I wanna make sure that I contribute and I give back. So I'm going to put these two cards together and I'm going to make sure that I put on my card who I gave back to or how did I contribute. Don't worry, I'm going to fast forward some of this stuff so y'all will not be up here all day. Okay, so I'm gonna do one towards my, my body, which you know is my exercising. So this helps me remember, hey girl, did you exercise today? So this one says, I make an effort every single day. That is how transformation happens. So without me making effort, because it's not saying now, that you have to exercise every day. Transformation means, did I eat good today? Did I drink my water today? Did I put good food in my body today? As well as did I exercise? And did I get enough sleep? That's another big one. Ooh, this is a good one. No. This one says searching for love. I ain't searching for no love. I'm good. I'm good. Okay, so I think I'm going to do this one for my soul. Look at the picture. 
life is good. And on the back, it says, become an observer of your negative thoughts and you will naturally shift. I can't talk today. Become an observer of your negative thoughts and you will naturally shift them. That means I'm going to observe, I'm going to realize that my thoughts are negative. I'm going to observe it, but it will not take life. It will not come out my mouth and I will naturally shift it to a, to a positive thought. So this reminds me. And this is my board for the week. Now, sometimes like you might have to keep the same thing because things did not happen that week. Like I may not have had an opportunity to fill out my contribution. So I will leave it there. But if it's something I feel like I need this for more than a week, then I will leave it for more than a week. But it's all up to you and your inspiration is there. And that is how I feel out my inspiration board. Think about it, guys. Inspiration, that is something that no matter what, that's what keeps you going. And that's what keeps you going to your vision, whatever your vision is. But like I said, like I said, I my vision is done through prayer. So I needed an inspiration board. What else do I do? I also make sure that um, the next time uh, when I get a chance, <clears throat> I will show you that I also make sure that I don't have no bad spirits in my house, no all that negative energy, because sometimes people crawl in with their negative energy, phone, text. You ain't even got to open your door no more. The negative energy can come in so many different ways. So. I make sure that um, I do my incense and I make sure that I have my peace and I'm going to show you that too. So I hope you like this, guys. Sorry it, it was so long, but I trust me, I probably have cut half of it out and forwarded some of me and my likes and all that crap. So don't forget, love yourself and become one of, the butterf one of my butterflies and join the butterfly family here at Age Is How You Wear It. I have a blog called Age Is How You Wear It, where you can talk to Miss Nita. Go check that out. And I also have um, Instagram, come on, where you can go and check out all my fashion. Thanks, guys. Bye.